This is a work that made the sexy goddess Angelina Jolie a hit. The movie is about loving and being loved. A love story of loss and redemption. The story is set in Cuba, in the 19th century. The main character, Luis, is a successful businessman. Through his hard work and diligence, he has accumulated a huge fortune. In his opinion, love is the most hypocritical feeling in the world. So he simply skipped the part of falling in love. In order to breed offspring for himself, he chose to buy a bride online. On the day of delivery, Louis waited all night. Until dawn, he saw his bride, Julia against the light. Sexy red lips, seductive eyes, she was holding an umbrella. Her charming look made Louis, who didn't believe in love, fell in love. He stared at the bride who had come all the way here. It was a bit different from the person in the photo. Julia explained that she didn't want someone who was superficial and only cared about her appearance. So she sent fake photos. Louis also said he wasn't really a working man. He's a businessman. Both of them said it was a beautiful misunderstanding. They're getting married in an hour. Julia was so shy. She and Louis entered into marriage in the church. After the wedding, Julia was all charm and mystery. After dinner, she added a touch of reserve. In the face of Louis, who was anxious to enjoy the evening, Julie said she needed more time. She was still feeling a little shy. Louis said, I will wait as long as you need. What a gentleman's answer. The two had a very happy married life. In the morning, Louis was sleepy-eyed. Julia brought a cup of coffee. She placed her hand on the man's arm in a very measured way. Louis kissed the delicate hand furiously. He made no secret of his affection for his beautiful young wife, and for this reason he gave his financial power to the new wife, as long as his wife is happy. What a perfect husband. The two are inseparable. Drinking tea and riding horses together. This newlywed couple is very sweet. Even watching a play together, they were all in love in the theater. Very affectionate. Louis's friend's wife was very unhappy. A lady doesn't wander around the theater by herself. She went backstage in the actor's lounge during the intermission. She was talking with an actor. Louis was uncomfortable and followed her. Security wouldn't let him in. Said the audience is not allowed to enter the back of the actors. Louis shouted, That's my wife. Julia heard him. She left the man behind to greet her husband. In the face of her husband's confusion, Julia answered him directly with a passionate kiss. That day, Julia's sister wrote. She had been gone for several days and had not heard from her. The family was very worried about her. They wanted her to write back immediately. Julia said to her husband. Her sister had treated her badly since she was a child, but she was willing to write back out of courtesy. That night Julia had a nightmare. Louis woke up and comforted his wife. He vowed to take good care of her for the rest of his life. A few days later, Julia's sister paid a surprise visit. She said nervously. The reply wasn't even her sister's notes. Louis rushed home, only to find that Julia had taken all his money. The wedding ring was still on the table. The smell of his wife seemed to remain in the room. The sweet words between the two men's ears and torn membranes still echoed in his ears. His heart was drained at this moment. He couldn't get up the energy. He was determined to find her. As the plot develops, Louis saw his long for bride in a hotel. This beautiful woman, Anna, is seducing a rich old man. Little does she know that her husband Louis is following her. Louis sneaks into her room without a word. In this moment, suspicion and anger came to him at the same time. He shouted at his wife with a gun in his hand. Then he roughly slammed her to the floor. He told her he couldn't breathe without her. How could you do this to me? I'll kill you. Julia didn't resist. Told him she had indeed lied to him. Her real name was Bonnie. The man she was talking to in the theater was her lover and accomplice, Billy, because she was an orphan. So she and Billy were together all these years, walking around with him, scamming for money. But this time she fell in love with Louis. Bonnie said she was sorry and then bowed her head in shame. Louis's tenderness was reawakened. How much he loved this woman. For her, he could care less about anything. The tenderness and love of a husband was far more attractive than the raw, strong, savage possessiveness of Billy. The scales of her heart had tipped in her husband's favor, so she decided to leave Billy's control to return to her husband's side. The story begins with two men fighting over a woman. Louis hits Billy in the confusion. He panics. Bonnie is calm as can be. She tells him to buy two train tickets, leaves the body to her. Turns out Billy had switched bullets. He wasn't dead. Instead, he threatened Bonnie with poisoning Louis. When his wife made the poisoned coffee, he knew the cup was poisoned. He drank it down anyway. I love you. For better or for worse. Who you are. I just love you. And then Louis collapsed foaming at the mouth. Bonnie was distraught. 
she suddenly realized she was really in love with this loving husband. At the end of the film, Bonnie is sent to prison as a murderer. She tells the story of her and her husband Billy to the priest. Dramatically, the priest drapes her shawl over her as she is sent to the execution chamber, helping her escape from prison. The final shot of the film stops at this scene. Lewis and Bonnie are playing cards with friends and cheating together. Bonnie looks sharply and seductively into the camera, hand on the neck.